All right guys, so in this video today, we're gonna be drilling and tapping this water pump right here. Um, I've actually been running this truck this way for like seven years. The old steam vent was actually just like capped off. Thankfully, I haven't had any issues with it, but it's an easy fix. I'm only spending like 10 bucks on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and fix that today. I know a lot of people, they'll buy the, uh, it's like a connector that goes right here on your upper radiator hose and it'll have the nipple coming out or some people will do like the heater hoses, they'll just have like a T come out of it and you can run it there. And either way is fine. Here's the uh, quarter inch hose that I got from the junkyard, but I don't want this long thing coming over here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take off this water pump. We'll drill and tap it, 1 8 NPT threads. All right, and then from there, we're actually gonna put it in this little fitting. So this will just go right here and then I'll run that hose from the steam vent over and connect it. I guess it's just a cleaner look, cleaner way to do it. I was actually leaning towards just getting the little piece that goes up here, but everybody says cleaner to do it this way. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. All right, so then about 15 minutes later, you just make a big old mess and let your coolant flow all over the garage floor. We got the water pump off, it's over there on the ground. I'll go ahead and take it to the workbench. So now that I got it off and it's on the workbench, we're gonna go ahead and drill it right here. It's gonna be right next to the outlet, so it should be pretty easy. I kinda wish I would've got the barb fitting that actually came out the back. Now go ahead and put the tap in. All right, so now let's go ahead and see how well this thing fits in there. Threads in pretty nice to me. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some sealant on it. Got it nice and snug on there. All right, so now it's the next day and I got the water pump cleaned up. I got the fitting threaded in there with some thread sealing on it. So we'll go ahead and put it back on. I cleaned off the mating surfaces and I went and got some new Felpro gaskets. So now I'm gonna to torque down the water pump bolts and get those done, but we can actually see if this actually fit. You can see it coming out from back here, right under the throttle body. Shouldn't have any issues there. So go ahead and cut it and put the hose clamp on. Well, that looks pretty good to me. So as long as I don't have any leaks, it looks like everything's going pretty smooth. So I get everything back together. I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring it in. I think I need to pour it from this hose to fill up the block first until I see it coming out. And then I can actually connect it back to the radiator, fill up the radiator and then turn the truck on. 
All right, guys, so at this point, I got everything pretty much back together. My fitting gets here as soon as I finish this up. There it is. It's been idling for about 30 minutes now, and there's no issues, it's not overheating. Thermostat's opened up. I got it topped off here. So yeah, I'll take it for a test drive. And we'll see. I don't think my fans are kicking on, so I want to make sure those are actually turning on when they need to. 